So in chapter two, we're going to be focusing on um, the, the wonderful thermal energy or the warm, wonderful heat that we get from our sun. And here you see a, um, a uh, series of solar panels that are trying to make the most of getting that, that energy from our sun and converting it to electricity. So one of the things about energy from the sun is that we know that not all latitudes are created equal on the Earth. And so you're going to want to, um, and this is especially true in the next chapter, in chapter 3, but you need to be able to know what I mean when I say latitude, so let me just kind of remind you. Okay, If we look at a globe, okay, this is the Earth, draw on the equator, okay, and I'll go ahead and draw in, in this is my axis of rotation because we know that the, the Earth spins on an axis of rotation. Then lines of latitude look like this, okay? So we know, for instance, that it's generally speaking throughout the year warmer at the equator, and this is what, zero degrees latitude? And it is colder at the poles. And at the pole, that line of latitude up there is 90 degrees. So latitude. And I can never remember if it's um, two T's there or one. So why is that? I mean, the sun is shining on both of those locations. Well, we'll talk more about that coming up. One of the things at our given latitude, now this is about 40 degrees latitude, and I'm wanting to say we're about 42, 43 degrees north latitude from the equator. And from our given latitude, the sun at different seasons tends to have, at noon, tends to be high um, at different angles. So for instance, if we're looking at, this would be, uh, this is called the summer solstice. And we'll be talking more about, there are two solstices. There's the summer solstice, Okay, and that is probably, maybe you know, the day that we get the longest number of daylight hours in our day. And at noon, that's when the sun is going to make the highest angle. Okay, so this is the horizon, and kind of up in the sky, that's where, that's where the sun is. Okay, if you're at 40 degrees um, latitude, either north or south, that angle right there is going to be 73 and a half degrees. And I've got a little formula here coming up on a slide to show you how do you calculate that, that little angle. I think that's neat. But the sun is highest in the sky. If we compare that to um, our winter solstice, um, winter in the northern hemisphere um, is in December, December 21st, 22nd, our winter solstice, and that is when we have the shortest number of daylight hours. Vampires love that day. Um, and actually, can you see where the sun is lower in the horizon at noon? Okay? And at 40 degrees latitude, again, that angle is going to be 26 and a half degrees. Okay, the other two important um, positions in, and now when I'm doing this, I'm kind of showing the Earth orbiting the Sun throughout the year. The other two important positions are both equinoxes. And they occur in March 21st, 22nd, September 22nd, 23rd. And the thing with an equinox is that they, um, we get equal hours of daylight and nighttime. And not just us at our latitude, but all throughout the Earth at all latitudes. So notice that this angle is somewhere between, this is 50, is somewhere between um, 23 and 26. It looks about splitting the difference, doesn't it? So now changing from 40 to 80 degrees, showing you how high does the sun get, and again I'm going to kind of show you how we can calculate this angle. But if you compare this to, was it 73 degrees, is, is how high the sun gets uh, on our summer solstice when the sun is highest in the sky. If you're um, up visiting Santa Claus at the North Pole, okay, um, the sun on the longest day of the year will only get 33 and a half degrees. And we'll talk about why that is. By latitude. So latitude we know makes a difference because it's warmer near the poles, Sorry, it's warmer near the equator and coldest near the poles. We already knew that. We'll talk more about that, though.